Um, yeah, thanks for having me, everyone. My name is Catherine. Um, I am the co-founder, one of the co-founders of Mint Kuda, so which is the, the best way to do on-chain recognition. And what I'll do today is walk through the value propositions that we provide, and then um, maybe we could all just uh, I could do a live demo, or we could all try out the application together, uh, depending on how time goes, and then reserve some time for a Q and A. Sounds good. Yeah, perfect. And if you wanted to just share your screen for you know the duration, that's all good with us. Give us some visuals, especially for the YouTube. Yeah, for sure. Uh, give me one second. Okay, can everyone see my screen? It should be like a pitch.com slide deck. Yeah. Okay, yeah, awesome. So, yep, here representing Mankudos, which is the best form of recognition, and um, we exist to help individuals build on-chain reputation through on-chain recognition. So why Mankudos? Uh, fast and simple, non-transferable or soulbound tokens. I don't really care enough to engage in the debate on naming, but if you do, um, Either is fine, um, but yeah, so be able to create these recognition tokens in seconds with no code, in-app, or in Discord, which is um, a feature that's coming out soon. And why us? Because you can use us to track and increase community engagement with meaningful digital recognition. Uh, we've heard from so many people that these days, you know, especially with a crypto crash, um, the speculators are gone. And so you, you just get a core group of people that are trying to figure out, okay, well, now that speculators are gone, how do we build community? How do we help uh, communities feel like their time is worth it, their participation in events, attendance to workshops, or contributions to the community uh, ends up building some sort of uh, reputation or status or something meaningful for them. And uh, what we've been hearing is that uh, giving them a digital recognition token has been a really great way to do so. And uh, we've just seen so much success in the past few weeks and really excited to also just uh, explore this with Bankless as well. And um, if so Polygon is or like uh, if environmental safetyness and gas fees are something that you care for, don't worry, we are all for that. Uh, we're on Polygon, which means we are super environmentally safe and also we ca cover gas fees as well. So you can be rest assured that um, sending and receiving kudos will be as accessible as possible. And so, yep, as I mentioned before, you can easily send kudos um, in application or in chat and. Uh, Soon we will be coming out with community analytics features so you can track engagement and just get a bird's eye view of how your community is uh, participating, contributing through various activities and events. And um, one value that we've been hearing for a lot of our partners is that because kudos is given out during moments of recognition, such as when you're completing a course, completing a project, or uh, end of season celebration, awards, and so on and so forth, people usually are just so excited to be receiving these kudos that they naturally just post on Twitter sharing um, all of the awesome uh, experiences that they've had within the community. And so um, that's one value we've been hearing a lot. And also uh, because of just the fact that, you know, we're leveraging the interoperability benefits of the blockchain, uh, all the kudos you get, they are viewable on platforms like OpenSea, Rarible, and we're currently in talks with uh, a couple of partners to make it uh, available inside other various profile viewers as well. And so uh, one of the biggest success that we've seen is partnering with Alchemy and helping them grow their community from zero to 5,000 with just three weeks. Um, they've given us really good feedback about uh, designing these more intrinsic rewards to recognize community members that are successfully contributing and participating in their Road to Web3 program, which is this 10-week course where uh, new developers can complete a project, submit their submission, and then, also, then get a proof of knowledge token, which is powered by Kudos. And that has been just extremely successful. You can see um, here we have just like people in Telegram posting all the time, like, hey, really excited for my proof of knowledge token. And just anecdotally, there was a funny story where um, the Alchemy team, they were kind of uh, changing up some submission deadlines. And they're like, okay, students, you have 24 hours to complete your project. And everyone started freaking out because they're like, oh, no, I, need, I want my proof of knowledge tokens. Um, and it started pulling all-nighters, and so that was really fun to see. But I think that's just a testament to just how good people feel when they receive kudos from their community and, like, the, the people that are, you know, uh, running and, and upholding the community. And so, yeah, as you can see here, like, again, just to hammer the message on, like, people get so excited when the kudos is meaningful, when they receive it from someone of, I guess, um, maybe like a core team member or someone with quote unquote just more influence within a community. It's just recognition. It's on chain and really becomes a part of who they are. 
Um, we're also partnering with a 7,000 person design community called ADP List, and uh, they're just using us for all sorts of community recognition use cases, including one, uh, recognizing community members for attending their week, week long conference, and also giving out these super mentor awards um, on a monthly basis to recognize the top 1% of mentors within their community. And then soon we'll be working with them for um, just integrations where today they have this platform where mentees can go to mentors and write these uh, peer reviews, and they want to be able to turn those peer reviews from just Web 2 to actually Web 3 and like tie that to the individual uh, identity, uh, decentralized identity. We also worked with developer DAO to give out awards for their hackathon, which was also meaningful as well, and uh, partnered with uh, we Women Build Web 3, which did like in end of season recognition for all their core team members. And if you zoom in, you can see all of the personalized messages. And I, we just got like extremely positive feedback from this experience. They also use our platform to give out um, a token of appreciation for all the donors to their Gitcoin grant. And um, we anecdotally heard that because of how special these kudos were, they ended up seeing just a lot of uh, their donors just urging other donors to contribute more in order to receive the kudos. So that was an interesting highlight that came out of it. Uh, not just digital events, we also power live events as well. So recently we worked with Curiosity, which is an up and coming uh, marketplace for NFTs to power their NFT NYC scavenger hunt. So um, you can use our platform to easily generate QR codes and then be able to power live experiences where users can walk around, uh, take a look at QR codes and then be able to collect uh, these, these tokens and then redeem for prizes later on. In terms of the uh, features that we've just released, so uh, we've been working on making giving kudos to your community as easily and frictionless as possible. So one thing is uh, we now let you send kudos without an allow list. So you can imagine uh, for events where maybe you don't necessarily know who the kudos will be given out to or it's just unpredictable, you can just set up a kudos and then send the uh, maximum claim. So maybe you're expecting like 1,000 people to come in and claim this kudos, you can do that as well. You can also set a token claim expiration period too. Um, another feature we shipped was this address validation and cleanup. So what we heard from users is they'll be collecting addresses um, on like a separate form and then copy and paste things. And so something we do now is we let you easily uh, either type things in or uh, copy and paste a bunch of addresses. We highlight all the typos. Uh, we help you clear it out pretty easily and also help you automatically do duplicate as well. And uh, we also just shipped a custom image upload feature. So noted this feature is in, uh, it, it requires an allow list because we're trying to moderate and make sure that, you know, the content that gets generated through our platform is as, uh, I guess, safe as possible. We didn't want to just release this feature out in the open. And so um, now if you want to give a kudos to your community, you, if you're allow listed, you'll be able to uh, upload this upload like any custom image of your choice and then be able to create a kudos from there. Um, and if, you know, getting like a, a new image for every new occasion is too cumbersome as well, we also just do automatic image generation. So here you can see we have this background where if you specify a headline, we'll automatically create a new token for you where the headline and the background are just posed together. Um, and then we can also do custom work or not custom work, but like in the back end, work some magic uh, so that there's a bank list branded kudos as well so that you never have to worry about getting new art for every time you want to recognize someone. Um, and then, yeah, I just wanted to quickly showcase some of the, the awesome sender and receiver profiles we've seen. So this is an example of someone who's been an avid sender. They're from Women's Build Web 3. They are participants in the Alchemy program in Developer DAO um, and various other communities. And they were in charge of sending out all the different awards out uh, for Women's Build Web 3 for Developer DAO. And um, I also wanted to showcase an example of someone who's been an avid um, kudos receiver. So uh, this person is a very, very uh, highly active individual within the Alchemy Road to Web 3 program, and you can see all the different kudos that they've created. We'll be coming out soon with features uh, for individuals to be able to self-express better, all their on-chain recognitions, um, and so, so that's coming soon. And um, yeah, if you want to give it a go right now, uh, actually, I will just walk through it as well. But if you want to participate along the way, uh, feel free to go to sandbox.mintkudos.xyz to practice or just try sending a kudos. And so the way it works is 
Um, all you have to do once you connect your MetaMask is you can click on the Send Kudos button, and then here just fill in the various metadata that you want to include in the kudos. So perhaps the headline is um, congrats on completing season one or something. Um, you did a great job running operation, or just like various other information you want to include in the message. Um, and then you can also associate the, the kudos with the community. And the reason we're opinionated on this is because in the future we want to be able to roll out analytics features to get so that um, you know admins of kudos can get like an aggregate view on maybe things like leaderboards or who's gotten what and identify the top contributors within your community. And so um, here I'm just going to pick the kudos community and you see here since I'm an admin, uh, I've been allowed to for this feature. I can upload any custom image I want. Uh, for this demo, I will just pick a random image. Let's see. Okay, I did not do a good job preparing a random image. So I'm just going to take a screenshot and then <laughs> upload this file. And you can also uh, add dates as well. So thinking about like maybe it was an award that you want to give out and you want to commemorate that date and add any other links um, that you'd like. And uh, once you click next, then you can specify how you want to give out the kudos. So we want to be able to give, uh, make giving kudos as easy as sharing a Google Doc. So you can specify like, hey, do I have specifically allow listed addresses of people that I want to give the kudos to, or should anyone with a link be able to do it? And so, um, yeah, here you can specify the maximum number of points and then even set a token expiration period. Um, click next and then since we are on Polygon and we've decided to make our product as accessible as possible, we print all the gas, so all you have to do is sign. And after that, uh, we'll generate the claim link for you. Give it a second. Yeah, um, so, okay, I thought <laughs> I thought this was a bug for a second, but I realized I just literally like uh, dropped in a, a blank white image, so yeah. Anyway, so from here, you can just copy this claim link for others to claim. Um, when you do that, you'll go here. They'll be able to click on the claim link. Or also, uh, you can just easily get the QR code if you're doing like a, a live or in-person event and be able to download the image from there. And uh, let's see, what else? So upcoming features. Yeah, so if you just like a quick preview on what we're shipping next, we are working on a Discord bot where you can send kudos to each other within your community, uh, just like directly through Discord, because one feedback we've gotten is, hey, like my community already lives in Discord. Uh, I want to encourage good community behavior, but I don't want to force everyone to go to the actual, uh, the, the, the application, uh, the web application. And so th that's why we are coming out with a Discord bot where you can just do a slash command, uh, slash kudos send, and then we'll basically generate an image and then uh, the recipient can then claim, sign, and then uh, receive the kudos from there. We're also coming out with a community page where uh, instead of alchemy here, you can imagine like a bankless community page where you can see all the kudos that have been sent within your community, um, such as attending like an event or um, contributing to at the end of the season um, and be able to showcase that, navigate through it. And we're also coming out with a uh, directory where you can see just like who the community members are. Um, all the people who have received the kudos, they will show up here and then be able to easily hover through the, the usernames and then see uh, who has received what. We're also getting a lot of feature requests around APIs. Um, and so we're working on a big push for that. Uh, why APIs? Well, um, you can directly interact with our smart contract if you want to, but what we've been hearing from a lot of developers is, hey, I don't really want to deal with smart contracts. Can you just give me something I'm familiar with? Uh, and so that's why we're doing like a small API push. Uh, available today is if you already have a kudos, you can automatically add the recipients to an existing kudos um, on some sort of event trigger. And then also you can already view an individual's kudos. So if you are building some sort of profile viewer, you'll be able to easily display that within your uh, profile. And then coming soon is to be able to programmatically create new kudos. Um, so given, like for example, if y'all are working on some, some sort of um, like an application that requires users to do something on completion, you can trigger the creation of a new kudos. Thanks for having me, everyone. Yeah, amazing. Thanks for coming in and showing, this, 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 showing us your platform today.